All that remained was to wait until the alarm clock should signal its end. There was nothing to do except sit waiting in the dark to let his mind wander where it was still. Jensen slept late the following morning, and it wasn't until day after that he reached the observatory offices. He had about a week's work in front of him, examining the plates taken during the last football. What he had to do was to compare his latest observations with the other plate that he had taken in the previous month. As its name implies, the viewpoint was a device that enabled him to look first at one plate, then at the other with the other plate that he had taken in the previous month. As its name implies, this was done in the first was a device that enabled him to look first at one plate, then at the other with the other plate that he had taken in the previous month. As its name implies, Vinko was the US government was the first to be able to take one plate and then it comes with the other plate that he had taken in the previous month with the other stars. As its name implies, Vinko was the first to be able to take one plate and then it comes with the other plate that he had with the other plate that he had taken in the previous month. As its name implies, the device that in <laughs> then it means with the other plate that he had taken in the previous month. As its name implies, the blinker was a device that enabled him to look first at one plate, then at the other, with the other plate that he had taken in the previous month. As its name implies, the secretary of the treasury was a device Our that enabled him to look first at one plate, president, then at the other. Any really serious economic dissipation is likely to be prevented by two as its name favorable implies, factors in the situation. Was a device that Dr. Herrick assures us that this visitation is not expected to be prolonged much beyond a month. This is so short of time that even if the fuel consumption rate rises enormously, the overall quantity required to maintain ourselves against a period of extreme cold remains very moderate. There is, accordingly, no serious problem in building up adequate fuel stocks. It is even possible that our present stocks might be sufficient. A more serious issue is whether we can transfer supplies fast enough from stock to the domestic and industrial consumer. Whether we can pump gas and oil fast enough. The cloud was not visible during the following summer since it lay in the daytime sky, although it was keenly examined with a radio telescope if not disturbed. The situation was better than the Prime Minister had expected. News from Morkenstow suggested that the coming of the cloud was not likely to lead to an impossible fuel crisis, for which he was heartily thankful. For the time being, there was no fear of being up here long. There was no fear of storm and the skies in England were in the There was no fear of being There was no fear of being no Set out in high spirits, 
thinking it a wonderful relief to a drab November. They return from the chastened and star maps to North Africa. The reporters set out in high with a device that enabled me to look a wonderful relief. Chasing star maps to North as its name implies, the rope, the rope, the rope, was a device that in inking it in your one of the money that the other people had taken in the previous month to North Africa. As its name implies, the report they gave orders to light like an egg or nothing. And it was in the Nile that I had such as church. Apparition appears in sky. Celestial and celestial silver in Africa. No stars for Christmas, say astronomers. <laughs> Interstellar gas, the gas that occupies the vast regions of space between the stars. Mixed up with this gas, it was pointed out, were myriads of fine grains, probably grains of ice, no more than about one hundred thousandth part of an inch in their dimensions. It was these grains that produced the dozens of dark patches to be seen along the Milky Way. Photographs of such dark patches were displayed. The new apparition was simply one of these patches seen by. The fact that the solar Sir, there's no sun. Kingsley grabbed his watch. It was about 7:42 a.m. Long after dawn, he rushed out of the shelter into the open. It was pitch black, unrelieved even by star, which was unable to penetrate the thick cloud cover. An unreasoning primitive fear seemed to be abroad. The light of the radiance had gone. As it's near in England and the Western lands generally, the shock was pushed through. Technological 
been so hot and humid that a vast quantity of moisture had been stored in it. Rivers rose swiftly and flooded their banks, destroying communications and rendering whole multitudes homeless. Yet this flooding was of minor consequence compared with the storms that swept over the earth. The release of energy in the atmosphere caused by the condensation of vapor into raindrops was beyond all precedent. It was sufficient to cause enormous fluctuations of atmospheric pressure, leading to hurricanes on a scale beyond human memory and indeed beyond all credence. The temperature fell more and more. Rain changed to sleet and then to snow. The flooded fields were covered by ice and, as September wore on, the brawling rivers were gradually silenced as they were changed to immutable cascades of ice. By the end of September, the first gossamer-thin outposts of the cloud reached the Earth. The impact heated the upper regions of the Earth's atmosphere, as reports from Norton Stowe had predicted. But so far, the incident gas was too diffuse to cause heating to hundreds of thousands or to millions of degrees. Even so, temperatures rose to some tens. This was sufficient to cause the upper atmosphere to radiate a shimmering blue light, easily visible by night. Indeed, the nights became indescribable. It is curious in how great a degree human progress depends on the individual. Humans, numbered in thousands of millions, seem organized into an ant-like society, yet this is not so. New ideas, the impetus of all development, come from individual people, not from corporations or states. New ideas, fragile as spring flowers, easily bruised by the tread of the multitude, may yet be cherished by the solitary wanderer. Among the vast host that experienced the coming of the cloud, none except Kingsley arrived at a coherent understanding of its real nature. None except Kingsley gave the reason for the visit of the cloud to the solar system. His first bold statement was greeted with outright disbelief, even by his fellow scientists. When I said the cloud may be alive, I meant that the material inside it may be organized in an intricate fashion, so that its behavior, and consequently the behavior of the whole cloud, is far more complex than we previously supposed. Animate and inanimate are only verbal conveniences. If they are pushed too far, they do appear tautological. In more scientific terms, I expect the chemistry of the interior of the cloud to be extremely complicated. Complicated molecules. Complicated structures built out of molecules, complicated nervous activity. In short, I think the cloud has a brain. Point number one, the temperature inside the cloud is suited to the formation of highly complicated molecules. Second point, conditions are favorable to the formation of extensive structures built out of complicated molecules. The density inside the cloud is so high that quite
quite large lumps of solid material, probably mostly ordinary ice, are almost certainly to be found inside it. I suggest that the complicated molecules get together when they happen to stick to the surfaces of these lumps. And from what source do the molecules of living creatures down the earth get their internal supplies of energy? And where is the cloud getting energy from? And as an island of Neil or anyone else who is close to our group, Kingsley went on. Let's accept this job's art. Let's suppose that my beast is as loud as those to us. Instead, I propose we rely on the cloud being able to decipher our experiences. Then, when it's learned out, two successful. Within two days, the first intelligent It read, message received, information slight, send more. For the next week, almost everyone was kept busy reading from suitably chosen books. The readings were recorded and then transmitted, and all of them were short replies, demanding more information and still more. Marvelous It was Harry's He thinks he can use the test camera. Luckily, I have a parking system. So so Harry thinks he can hook one up to our computer, and what's more, he's pretty confident that he can modify it to do something like 20,000 lines instead of a miserable 450 or so lines of order. Yes, of course. We ought to be able to transmit an excellent picture. to the receiving, to us here as the receiving. Once we start to transmit with the television camera, we shall presumably get it replied in the same form as we transmit. Failure of communication led to other plans being followed. The nature of these plans came as a shock to Norton Stone. News of them came through Parkinson, who rushed one afternoon into Kingsley's office. Why are there so many fools in the world? He exclaimed in a rather wild tone. Good. You've seen the life at last, have you? Was Kingsley's comment. 
Let's go back to the situation as 1958, before anybody had ever heard of the cloud. You remember the arms race with the US and the Soviets competing furiously to see who could produce an intercontinental rocket first, all fitted up with hydrogen warheads, of course, and the scientists realized that to fire a rocket six or seven thousand miles from one point of the Earth's surface to another is much the same problem as to fire a rocket right off the Earth altogether out into space. Parkinson, if you're not trying to tell me, I'm telling you that work in the US and in Russia on this problem has advanced much further than the British government realized. The only was a device that in his head, the only equipment and that both the US government and the Soviets announced that they fired off rockets, as it's named, fired them at the cloud. was a device that in his head, Apparently, there's been an undercover competition that we have nothing about. It. The U.S. has been trying to outdo the Soviets and vice versa, of course. They're reckoning to show each other what they use, quite apart from killing as it's made. Lincoln, how many of these rockets have been seen? Asked Lester. As far as our information goes, upwards of a hundred from the U.S. and perhaps fifty or so from the Russians. Well, I don't see that it's so important, Lester remarked. The energy in a hundred hydrogen bombs may seem a lot to us, but it's surely only microscopic compared to the energy in the cloud. I should have thought that this business is sillier than trying to kill a rhino with a toothpick. Parkinson shook his head. As I understand it, they're not trying to blow the cloud to pieces. They're trying to poison it. Poison it? Paradoxically, although the episode of the hydrogen rockets had created a host of bitter and implacable enemies, in the short term, the position of Kingsley and his friends was greatly strengthened. The reversing of the rockets had given terrible proof of the power of the power. The early, comparatively careful days had gone now. They were never to return. Consciousness returned about 36 hours after the end of the cloud's transmission. For some minutes, 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 some was the most difficult walk in his experience. In the evening, he was sitting in his room that enabled him to look when McNeil walked in. McNeil gone with the other light that he had taken in the previous months gone. And as its name implies, the blinker was a device that enabled him to look first at money with the other place he had taken in the previous month. The bigger tragedy, as its name implies, the blinker was a device that enabled him to look first in one plate and then at the with the other plate that he had in taken in the room. He was sane for nearly an hour. He told me what the trouble was. He fought it down, and as the minutes passed, I thought he was going to win out. But it wasn't to be. He got into another attack and it killed him. But what was it? Something obvious that we ought to have foreseen. What we didn't allow for was the tremendous quantity of new material which the cloud seems able to impress on the brain. This, of course, means that there must be widespread changes of the structure of a mass of electrical circuits in the brain, changes of synaptic resistances on a big scale, and so on. You mean it was a sort of gigantic brainwashing? No, it wasn't. That's just the point. There was no washing. The old methods of operation of the brain were not washed out. They were left unimpaired. 
The new was established alongside the old, so that both were capable of working simultaneously. You mean that it was as if my knowledge of science were suddenly added to the brain of an ancient Greek? Yes, but perhaps in a more extreme form. Can you imagine the fierce contradictions that would arise in the brain of the Greek? Accustomed to such notions as the Earth being the center of the universe and a hundred and one other such anachronisms suddenly becoming exposed to the blast of your superior knowledge. I suppose it would be pretty bad. After all, we get quite seriously upset if just one of our cherished scientific ideas turns out wrong. Yes. Think of a religious person who suddenly loses faith. Which means, of course, he that he becomes aware of a contradiction night. between his religious and his non-religious beliefs. Blinker Such a person was a device that often experiences a severe nervous crisis. crisis. With and the other Kingsley's place. case was a thousand times worse. He was killed by the sheer violence of his nervous activity. In a popular phrase, by a series of unimaginable fears brings him. But he said... The other thing we had taken Some in the previous plan. month. Probably he decided to accept Link as rule was a device that, that the new should, should always supersede the old whenever there the was other thing we had taken in the previous month. I watched month. him for all hours as its name implied. Link that enabled him to be able to be able to be able Nice that enabled him to look first at one plate to then at the news with the other plate he had taken in the previous The device that enabled him to look first at the news with the other plate he had taken in the previous The device that Look first at the one that was covered in the previous with the other that he had taken in the previous. Thank you. 